Hi, this is Amy, and today I want to show you how to use the new version of Autocrat to create certificates. Of course, there are a lot of different things that you can do with Autocrat, but I think certificates is a good use of it that shows how the tool works so that hopefully you can apply this to a lot of other things. So before I start, I've got a spreadsheet and it's got some data in it, and I also have a template document. So this is my template document and it has some tags in it. So you can see I have the less than, less than, and then um, some words on the inside just to remind me what goes in there. And then the greater than, greater than. Now if I want a space to appear, I've got to put a space. Um, spaces inside here won't make any difference inside the tags, but outside of here I need to make it look exactly like I want it to. So I have three different tags that I'm going to merge together in this example. I have first name, last name, and the date of this training. Everything else, I'm just going to put it on the certificate because it's going to be the same for everyone uh, no matter when I run this certificate. So I'm going to go back to my spreadsheet data, and it doesn't matter how the data gets into the spreadsheet. This could be a form. Um, it could just be a spreadsheet you've already got. That doesn't matter. Now, I do want to clean up uh, one of the names over here because uh, Margaret goes by the name Peggy, and so she put in her name as Margaret and in parentheses Peggy, and I'm just going to clean that up so that when her certificate comes out, it just says Peggy on it, which I think is what she wants. Now, you notice also I've got participant email addresses in this column. The reason I want that is because I want to be able to send the certificates to the participants via email so that they can print them out. So it's important to have that even though there's no merge tag on my certificate for the email address. All right, let's get started with Autocrat. If you haven't used it before, you're going to go into add-ons. You'll see that in every spreadsheet, whether it's a form spreadsheet or a regular spreadsheet, and you're going to go to get add-ons. Now, this is a store of add-ons, so you may find other things you're interested in here, but the one we're looking for is Autocrat. So I'm just going to type that in and show you that this is what the tool is going to look like, and you're going to click on the plus free, which will appear to the right of Autocrat if you don't have it installed. So I've already got it installed, and I, when I click add-ons and go down to Autocrat, you can see it in my list, and I can just go right there and click open. So I've already run Autocrat a couple of times on two other sheets in this spreadsheet, but this time I want a new job. I don't want to run, uh, run this Autocrat. I want to create a new job and have it do something different. So I'm going to call this one Certificate. Just so I can remember what it is, and now I'll go ahead and click Next. Now, it wants me to choose the template. So remember, we've got our template open right here. I've just edited it recently, so when I go to From Drive, I think it's going to be pretty easy for me to find this file. If you haven't edited it in a while, it may be a little bit harder to find, but you know how to do that. You can always just type in the name um, and locate that file. So I'll just click on it and click Select, and then I'll wait for Autocrat to examine that file. And there it goes, it now has appeared and I can move on. So I'll click next again. And now this is my mapping page. So now I need to tell Autocrat which tags go with which data in my spreadsheet. So I actually have a, an issue right here, and that's that right now it's looking at the wrong set of data. So I need to change this. Since I have a bunch of sheets in this spreadsheet, I need to change it over to my certificate data and then let it pull that list. So here we go. Now these are going to match. So when I have my tag that says first name, I'm going to change the column to what's your first name. Same, I'm going to change last name to what's your last name. And then the date, I'm going to change that to my column that is called dates. So as long as you name things logically, this will be pretty easy for you to match together. So now we'll just click Next. And now we have to tell Autocrat how to name the files. Um, so this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to name the files the participant's first name. So I just clicked that one time and now I'm going to just paste right here. So I press Command V on my computer if you're using a PC. It's Control V 
and now I'm going to choose the last name. Now, since my data set is relatively small, I don't have any duplicates or anything like that. If I did, I might want to add more data there to differentiate these files, but they're all going to have a unique name, so that will be fine. All right, our next step is to decide what type of output document we want. Since this is a certificate, I'm going to change this to a PDF. We also need to decide whether we want multiple documents or a single document. So if these are certificates that you're going to print for your class or for a group, then you're going to choose a single document and that's going to let you print them all out at once. But I'm going to share these with participants uh, via email, so I'm going to choose the multiple document mode. All right, I'm going to go ahead and save this because I've been through um, quite a few steps and I don't want to lose anything. All right, so it's going to make me choose a folder first, and then I should be able to save. I've already got a folder set up over here for my certificates to go into. It's an empty folder so that it'll be easy for me to find those if someone can't find theirs later, and I need to provide it for them again. So I'm going to go to my button and then select the folder that I made for the certificates. And this is the folder right here. It's the last thing I created in my drive, so it appears at the top and I'll go ahead and click select. All right, now I should be able to save. So now I have this certificate job. I've saved it, but I still have some more steps to do. So I'm gonna go ahead and go edit it, but now I know I won't lose any other work I've done. Um, so I can just flip back through really quickly, and now I can set up what's gonna to happen to those documents as they output. All right, the next step I want to worry about is step eight. Um, I actually have not used these other functions, um, but feel free to read about that. You can also look at the help guide down at the bottom, but for most of your applications, you won't need those two areas, six and seven. So we'll move on to section eight, share docs and send emails. So are we going to share the document? Um, yes, we are. We're going to share it as a PDF. Uh, we're fine with collaborators resharing that. We have to decide whether we want people to be able to reply or not. In my case, I have a small group. They all have my email address. I'm fine with them replying, so I'm not going to send from the generic address. If I'm sending this out to 300 people who don't know my email address and I don't want them to reply, then I would switch that on to yes. So once again, I'm going to grab my tags over in the left-hand column, and I'm going to click on the tag I want. I'm just clicking one time on what's your email address. Now I'm going to scroll down and take a look at this dialog, and I'm going to paste in that tag. That's going to make that dynamic. Now in the subject, I'm going to type what the email is going to be about. Now I can put a message down here. So I'm going to put dear, and now I'm going to select the first name tag and paste it into the email. That's going to put the participant's first name there. And now I'm going to type a message. All right, I've typed an email message to my participants. I put one tag into the email message so that it will go to their name to make it feel a little bit more personal. And now I'm going to go ahead and click Next on my Autocrat dialog. And it wants to know if I want to run on a form trigger. Well, this is actually not a form spreadsheet, so I'm going to select No. And do I want to run on a time trigger? No, I'm going to actually run the merge right now. So I'll go ahead and save it. All right, now here's my merge, and you can see that it's sitting here ready to be run. And so I'm going to go ahead and click play and run the job, and we'll see what happens. As the merge is working, we'll start to see columns be created behind our Autocrat dialog. So you can see some of these created up here. And as soon as we see the first certificate generated, we'll go and take a look in the folder and see what's happening. So you can see the very first one has generated. And now let's go take a look inside our folder. So remember we selected this folder to be the place where the certificates will go. So let's go ahead and take a look at them and make sure that they came out correctly. And they did, they look great. Um, honestly, I normally would have probably run that on one line first, um, just to make sure that the merge worked correctly, but thank goodness it worked right the first time this time. If you're doing this for the first time though, you might wanna go ahead and just test it out on your own data to make sure it works before you allow it to run everyone else's. I hope that helps you learn to use Autocrat today. It really is an amazing tool 
and I know that it's going to really be worth your time to dig into this. Thanks for watching and have a great day.